how to get rid of sewer flies, drain flies, sink flies, we're about to show you right now. All right guys, so we're on the second floor of an apartment building. Tenant had to move out. Management has hired handymen and other professionals to try to get rid of the sewer flies and they just keep coming. All right guys, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them clearly, but look right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at this, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. There's at least like 50 to 70 just in the kitchen and we haven't even seen the bathrooms yet. They're even in the bathroom walls. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And that's probably leading right here into the shower drain. The first thing you need to understand with sewer flies or drain flies is that they love living in that biofilm inside drains. So the only way to really get rid of them once and for all, do a thorough inspection of your home. You may have a leaky sewer drain pipe that you're not aware of that's actually activating and making them create more larva and you're never going to stop those sewer flies. So a thorough inspection is critical. Now in this particular situation, because we're on the second floor, we've got a kitchen sink that is releasing sewer flies. We've got uh, shower drains, lavatories. So we're gonna come in with our enzyme treatment and all of the scrubbing material to get rid of that biofilm, meaning get rid of all that larva, and then you'll start to see massive improvements. So let's go ahead and take you to the first step, and that's going to be the garbage disposal drain area here. Now, because sometimes this gets a little messy, we did apply some six mil plastic just to protect the cabinetry. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take apart the plumbing here. We can get a good look at uh, what's inside these lines because again they love nesting inside the drain pipes and harboring in that moisture and the biofilm of the drain. So quick tip if you do have a massive sewer fly or drain fly infestation the bleaches, vinegar, baking soda, hot water it's not going to work they're going to come right back. So you really got to get down to the biofilm and that's going to require taking apart some of these drain fittings to get down to all that dirty stuff where they lay their eggs. Ooh. A lot of... Yeah, look at that, guys. Right there's what I'm talking about. That's where they like laying their, their little eggs. Look at that. This, this, look at that. That's the perfect breeding ground right there. You see, and you can't, hot water and bleaches, it's not gonna take all of these areas where the biofilm's collecting and it's not gonna remove it. So I think at this point, what we'll do is just replace the garbage disposal. We don't wanna take any chance. So look at the dishwasher discharge hose, got some biofilm. These type of brushes, you can get at a little local hardware store like Ace, but these are great because they're long. You simply can put them inside of the piping and look at what we're gonna be pulling out here. And here we go. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Got a little chunk there at the tip. Not too bad, but again, all of that biofilm is what you want to remove. That's the goal here. Okay, so the next step is once we remove all the biofilm, we use the Twinzyme. And basically this is an enzyme that will go in, kill the bacteria, uh, help with odors, but does a really good job with sanitizing the area. So there's no chance of the larva growing. So what we're gonna do is we like these little sprayers because they Got some pressure behind them. And what we're gonna do is 
do our enzyme in. And then what we're gonna do is take our brush again and do another cleaning with the enzyme inside the drain. Okay. And now look at how much cleaner that is. Smells so much better too. How we doing Dave? Doing good, I'm gonna remove the P-trap. Okay. Just to double check the this galvanized yeah, pipe Yeah, that here. galvanized. I was looking at that earlier thinking, ooh, that, that could be a... See if there's anything in the P. P-trap actually is clean. Okay, let me put my... Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, a lot of times those galvanized just will... Look at that. Yep. Finger looking good. Okay. If you have all these parts completely removed, it's always beneficial to go ahead and remove everything else and really investigate because the last thing you want to do is not be thorough and then they come right back. All right, so we're going to get a white bag to get all this out. We'll use the, the faucet here to get it all out. Ooh, a nice little chunk right there. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll get another brush. And we'll just scrub the inside all the way back to its original state here. Look at that. Now do another little rinse. And you can see it's so much cleaner. So that's the key guys, is really to get the biofilm that's in the inner walls of any piping completely removed because they will not survive. They cannot hatch without that. Yeah, this bathroom right here seems to be the most impacted. So we're thinking maybe the shower drain, which we're about to remove right now. So we're gonna see what's inside here. All right, look at this guys. Massive, a lot of hair. All right, so when it comes to a shower, same thing, you're gonna have to get into the drain and that just requires taking the drain cover off Looking down inside, obviously with some gloves, and pulling out like hair, so this has all got to be scrubbed out. So a nice coarse toilet brush cleaner, or Twinzyme, or an enzyme treatment, and then a high pressure spray bottle, so we, we put our uh, enzyme inside this pressure pressurized spray bottle, spray inside really, really good non-toxic so you're not going to be breathing a bunch of chemicals let that saturate for a good minute then with your brush really get in there and just scrub away get rid of all of that collection of debris look at that all right, so we're gonna let this sit. You always wanna let your enzyme, after you've done the scrubbing and removed a good layer of the biofilm, allow that enzyme to really go in and work and eat away at the remaining biofilm. Those drain flies cannot survive without that. So that's the key to removing drain flies. All right, so when it comes to labs and you wanna clean out those drains, especially when you're getting a lot of sewer flies, these are great little investments, these little brush. You can get them at Ace Hardware and they come in all different sizes and they all work pretty good. I just, we just have a variety on hand. But basically what we'll do is just go all the way down a couple of turns to wind up any hair and debris and then pull up and look at what you'll get. You'll get all of that, all that hair and stuff and more importantly, cleaning the inner walls of, of all of the inside of the drain. And then with hot, hot water, you just start scrubbing away. Oh, so much better. And a secret that most professionals miss when it comes to removing sewer plies is this overflow on the sink. And that's what this brush is meant for. So if you go in and just go in there and just really get in there and clean, loosen it all up. And then again with the Twinzyme, 
blast it in there, shoot it different directions. Actually, you can see it coming out of the drain here. What happens is those drain flies stay in a very moist environment, and these overflows are a perfect moist environment for them to harbor in the hatch. Then what you want to do is, with when it comes to sinks or any fixtures, guys, get an enzyme and allow this to sit overnight. And again, this is allowing the enzyme to do its job, and that is to eat away any remaining biofilm. This uh, shower here is the twin drain. You got two drains in one shower. And that's Dave there, and uh, there's Jim, nice and clean. <laughs> All right, so we've cleaned the labs, we've cleaned the overflows, the shower drains, and right behind me, the sewer drain flies are looking right at me, but they're all right here, pretty pissed off that I took their home away. So now, we've got to get these out of here, and this is how. Sucking all the drain flies. Josh is a, uh, a professional drain fly extractor. Do it, Josh. Good, good. Just getting every last one. Oh yeah. We're in every single room, so we gotta go room to room. Yep. They're on the main floor, in the window through every corner. This has been a, a, a vacant unit and they, they, wouldn't, they haven't been able to rent it out because of the green flies. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Alright, so we've got the new garbage disposal. Removing the plug. New there. Let's take a look inside there, Dave. Brand new. Dave's doing a leak test. Everything looks pretty good. No leaks. Ta-da! Nice and clean. Quick little tip, always remember, use this key and make sure that you're, you're locked into place. This is a great little tool to do that. Right in. All right, so we've got everything cleaned up here. Got all the countertops cleaned up. So we're just going to get some of these drain flies out of here with the vacuum. I'm going to close this bathroom door so that way Josh and uh, and Dave can come in here and extract. I'm not going to fly fly everywhere. Team did a great, great job. No more sewer flies, so those, uh, that extraction with the vacuum is a tremendous help. I'd like to see what's inside that vacuum. Probably thousands of drain flies. Okay, so we have the vacuum here. There they are. You can see all the hundreds of, especially right there. All right, guys, we wiped out this infestation of sewer flies. That vacuum was a lot of work, but we had to get them out of here. Now, because there's a slight musty odor in here as well, we're gonna go ahead and attack the odor 
with our Puro Cleanse, which is an awesome product. So if you've got cigarette smoke and urine smells in your duct system, your furniture, this is a really good, safe Amazing. alternative odor removal process that really works well. Yeah, guys, so it comes in a, in a puck like this. What's great about it is you can actually take the puck, split it in half, I'll give one to Dave, and then you drop it right here into this water right here, and these bubblers agitate the water inside. Come over here and check this out. I'm gonna leave this overnight. Here's Dave's. Make sure all windows, everything is closed. We're gonna set one right there. I'm gonna set one back over here. It's gonna go into the air conditioning return, get into the duct system. I'm gonna put this one where they were hatching in this bathroom over here. Pretty pungent odor. So you only have a couple of minutes to set it up and then you gotta vacate for about 24 hours and then it'll be safe to come back in. Again, it's not toxic, but because of the high concentrations, you definitely don't wanna be in here. So we better end this video now. Hey guys, leave the comments down below. Love to hear what you have to say about drain flies. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.